<clears throat> All right, folks, the deck is Big Shaman. The goal of the deck is to use Fairy Tale. The goal of the deck is to use Fairy Tale Forest so that we can draw into Muck Morpher on curve and hit a big minion to bash our opponent in the face with. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. What are these cards? Weird numbers everywhere? Yeah, it's a new... Uh, new Bellatro... Uh, mod Brukard versus Enza Who's ready for a hoedown? What lurks beyond the firelight? Okay, interesting. We keep the fairy tale forest. If I hit a gavel, there might be a war no. The, the timing doesn't quite line up. <clears throat> so there's no real use in spending the coin on the We're location, out. I don't think. Fun fact, 90% of balding spray. guys shave their heads before it all grows back. Never stop coping, gentlemen. Great advice, as always. Thank you, Janae. So the question, I guess, becomes, what do we coin, then, if anything? Maybe we're going to need to do a baking soda volcano next turn. It's not healed. God, I hate even Shaman so much. Sick. Like, the Bacon Soda Volcano is not even good, so I'll just do this and pray. Oh, man. I will never not hate even Shaman. You have double double devolve, which could be useful. Alright, let's see what we get and then decide if we want to potentially reincarnate it. That looks like a yes, so that we can allow it to survive. It's actually a really good minion for this situation. Your turn. JB, hello. I still hate even Shaman, by the way. Just gonna make that clear. And I will continue to hate even Shaman. For the rest of my days. Not falter. 
what lurks beyond the fire uh, the gavel can get us to the muck morpher just as quickly as the fairy tale forest, so might as well keep it in case we draw a muck morpher. Not shadow priest, okay. Um, could be like dragon inner fire then. Or just regular inner fire. By all the stars above. Uh, that's way too. That's way out of my price range. What are you talking about? Just soften it up so that we don't get blown out here. <sighs> Welcome, Zuzik. Okay. So it's a little bit uh, concerning. Maybe I'll hit the uh, Zarimi here. Zarimi's nuts. Got him. Oh, <laughs> that's not Zerimi. <laughs> it's a little concerning. Uh, but we should hit the walking fountain, walking mountain and the glug off of the uh, thunder horse here at least. So long as this like doesn't, if it, if it gets silenced, then we just reincarnate it, right? Okay, so we take two here. We take not two here. Nobody wanted that to happen. Profound. Well, this is a lot of extra damage. Thanks. Uh, it turns out the uh, Void Judge Attendant was actually to my benefit. Very cool. Been late on the videos every day, not used to the American time zones. I think uh, I think the commenters will understand. We still appreciate your efforts. And I guess that time zone means that maybe you can uh, make the streams a little bit more uh, while you're uh, in the States. Hey, welcome, Fritzel. Wild meta seems insane. The yeah, I mean it's <laughs> kind of a predictable component for an eternal format for a card game that is ten years old, isn't it? This is awkward. I don't know if I want to keep this actually because if I play it on turn two, I don't get to hit the uh, fairy tale forest on curve into the muck morpher, so. Okay, brute me. Well, it looks like we ended up doing this anyway. Job done. I was kind of hoping for the gavel at this point. The gavel could make this a turn four play. Craigasm. Get 
Gavel? Definitely not. Okay, my next two turns look... Well, my next turn looks pretty gross as well. This turn was bad. The following turn, also bad. Glide? Holy animations. I mean, that decreased their hand size, right? Like, that wasn't good. <laughs> I, I know it got them cost reduction, but, like, that play right there is the reason why Glide has been working its way out of uh, Questline Demon Hunter. What are we looking at? We've got Yashira, Thunder Horse. No, we don't have our, like, we drew a lot of our best minions. That only being a one-sided glug might have been, or a glide might have been a downside for me. Okay, that's still probably my best hit because it'll get a full-size walking mountain. Walking mountain. They do have silence effects off of the outcast cards. There it is. No, I think we died. It sort of got taunt. I feel like I have a good play here. Maybe something like this. That should be all of their brutes, and then it's just wallopers. We can recover a lot of our health with the uh, bacon soda volcano and the walking mountain. Why not reincarnate? Because that would leave my walking mountain exposed. And then it like the it would leave the third copy of the Thunderbringer useless. I want to reincarnate the um, Walking Mountain. I see. In general, because I didn't think it was necessary nor a good play to make. They will never catch me. There might be a second silence here. That's rough. Wait, I miscounted Brutes? Realistically, I miscounted the Philosophies. Time for everyone's favorite animation. Next turn, I need to hit. Where oh, there is no next turn.
Khan versus Uther. I will fight with honor. What lurks beyond the firelight? Let's keep the coin muck morpher. With the gavel, this can go kind of crazy. I need to stop drawing these minions so <laughs> consistently. I cannot wait to read these. Can Totem Shaman still climb? Uh, no, it's terrible. Stop playing it, especially against me. I hate it. That was a mistake. Well met. Rothel, it's my second month subbing now. At what point should I be expecting my first delivery of livers? Well, you have to you have to provide livers before you can expect to receive them. That's kind of how it works. Think of it shaped like a triangle, right? Where the the livers make their way up to the top and you have to work you have to climb your way to the top of the triangle. in order to start receiving lovers of your own. The only pyramid in this scheme is the big old stack of livers in Raffle's backyard. Exactly. Yeah, why are you calling it a, no. What does a pyramid scheme have to do with this? It's a it's a triangle. A really big one at that because I've got a lot of stacks of livers here. Wait, that order might have killed them. <laughs> it sure did. Whoopsie. Sorcery will prevail. What lurks beyond the firelight? Let's keep the muck, look for the gavel. Worst case scenario, we get a turn four. Uh, muck? Oh my god. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, General Kenobi. We coin this and get a turn three muck. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's a uh, quest mage. That's unfortunate. Oh, it's not quest mage. That's fortunate. Oh, that's maybe the worst draw in my deck. This is horrendously unlucky for me. Oh, no. <sighs> now it's a 50-50. When it didn't need to be. Pray for me, chat. <laughs> That's just abysmal. And now we like that, that. That was the singular worst possible draw in like 25 cards. The worst timing for it. The worst card. Just absolutely horrendous. And, uh, very well could cost us the game here.
like this went from a very, very likely win to a very, very probable loss with one bad draw. Excuse me, you are on fire. Excuse me, you are on fire. That's another bad draw. pretty good at least and I think most importantly it's not objection so that probably makes it seem like a counter spell which is easier to play around that's a secret still could be a redundant secret but that would be pretty unlikely in a 40 card deck I guess this one could still be objection, but we test with the second muck more for next turn. It's rig fair game explosive or objection. Okay. Well met, Glug. Glug. Wow. Whoa. Glug. What you call me? Thank you, Gary. Appreciate the 30 months. Actually, and unfortunately, this is very probably second objection. Like, I don't see a good reason to not play a free secret uh, outside of it being a redundant secret with the one that they already had. So, uh... Rip second glug. Don't really have a way around that. What a absolutely miserable card. Just <laughs> one of the least fun things in all of our stone. Right. Unfortunately, this only hits an elemental at this point. Like, this draw has just been pretty abysmal throughout. At least that does something for me. Cool. Give me all of the stats, please. Thank you. I just wanted to go back to full health. GG? Yeah, get gloved. Still an obnoxious game of Hearthstone. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I forgot how... I've been playing too much standard lately. Where I can, like, actually play my minions. Into Mage Secrets.
Vulcan versus Fireheart. Unleash the fire within. What lurks beyond the firelight? All right, let's try the Muck Morpher again. Alright, so no new point in coining the gavel. It still gets us this on three. And the coin, holding the coin actually prevents any accidents even if I top deck a uh, um, a second copy on accident. Go with the flow. That would have been a nice minion to pull from the Mach Marker, but we'll just hit Yashira instead here. I don't. I haven't hit Yashira a single time, which is uh, a bit of a low roll. I've also like drawn the glug an inhuman number of times. I'll write that down. face damage while we can. This deck doesn't make a lot of uh, minions most of the time, so we should be able to get away with like a baking soda volcano when we need to. I appreciate that, baby. All right, this time for sure we hit the uh, Yashiro. It makes it less likely we hit that. Imagine. I'll take an Epsilon. Could do worse. It could be like a Murloc buff spell, but there's also totem buff spells, and these guys are kind of awesome, so we'll leave them on the board. Let it burn forever. Glug in here. I don't have great follow ups, so if this Glug doesn't carry, we probably lose. If only churches offered endless thighs, I'd put them right out of business. Thank you, Kern. Technically, it survived. Just hoping for healing put in there. 
but we got three zero attack minions at least. decent healing for them and we're probably just dead over the top unreal thank you There are any decent shaman decks in the wild? Uh, it's probably more than any other class. Send the big minions back, keep the stuff that fetches the muck morpher. Uh, I mean, most of the shaman decks that are good are from previous expansions, right? Like Even Shaman, Reno Shaman. Burn Shaman and this deck got, are the two that got some new things. But, like, expansions shake up wild meta a lot less than, like, standard in particular. that to two mana could be valuable so that I could hero power or play the gavel alongside it. I wonder, yeah, I think this is the uh, <laughs> forbidden fruit druid. quickly or more quicker than the, the opponents and hope to run into some taunts or something there's the potential to go pretty quick taunt me thanks idiot totem Next turn, we can press this button. Oop, that's a ferocious owl. Press this button, equip the weapon, and uh, play the muck morpher. Can I get a Yashira one time, please? No, just not going to happen a singular time while playing this deck. Barnes, please. Cool.
I guess it doesn't, doesn't even matter if we set taunts because of the uh, fact that like poison seeds is a is the critical component to the combo. Unless like this is on the board, in which case it could pull the glug. But there wouldn't be much board space for it. Either way, they need to go in this turn. Which could leave them in a precarious position. Need to build this deck so I can get use of my signature Yashira. Here's the thing, though. Uh, you, you'll never... If my experience is any indicator, you'll never actually see the signature Yashira. Well met. Did you know that the hardest part of being a streamer is dealing with the viewers? True. And what are your thoughts of the YouTube by who comments on every video asking for your I think it's a good bit. And I appreciate and admire the, uh, the dedication to the bit, too. They even changed their username to uh, I excerpt your real guy. Which is pretty good commitment. Uh, thank you for the three months, though, Sir Unicorn. There's no need to keep the uh, Muck Morpher when we have the Fairy Tale Forest. And there is a world where if we hit a key minion, like a Yashira for instance, we could coin the Ancestor's Call over playing the uh, Fairy Tale Forest on curve. swing. What are your options on head pats? What would you do if, this is purely hypothetical, someone gave everyone in your discord, go join it, head pats? I mean, as long as it's consensual. Okay. Well, this might be one of those situations where it'd be, uh... <laughs> The coin is used here. Oh my god! Absolutely annihilated. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Uh-oh. What if Korok is back? Theo got what he deserves, true. True, I, I don't think anybody can uh, be upset about that one. Thank you. 
It is your turn. This may have definitely been an overcommitment. Your wish is my suggestion. There's nothing that oh that, that was lucky. <laughs> like a light bomb would have been devastating, but this shouldn't be able to do too well. Oh. Nice top deck. But that was a bit of an exclamation point priest moment with all those four attack minions. up too far. This is a good target for the Ancestor's Call. Yep, this is a bot. Yeah, but how, why do they always make that play? <laughs> They just oh, it's like the, uh, I mean, it's because of the way that they're coded, but like they always keep prep in that spell and then they always just rip it on turn one for as like the first action that they perform for some ungodly reason. Here's a human. This is certainly a hand. Uh, we don't need both of these, and we don't need the uh, Mukmorpha if we have the fairy tale. Hey, welcome, Stair. Probably aggro. Possibly like dragon aggro. Possibly rope aggro. No? Okay. Hold the weapon. Use it with the minion that we hit off of the fairy tale forest. Now, wait. When it drew patches, SMH my head. This is uh, one of the cleaner setups that we can do, right? We swing, swing, get this to two. And have the, uh, wait. Oh, it's just, uh, Reno. That's probably worse for me. I think I would be better off into aggro with this deck. Ruffle, hold my hat. I'm going in. Okay. Be careful, though. Also, I'm keeping the hat. Thank you, robot. Or the hat. And the bits, I guess. Didn't really want that one here anyway. Let's see what we get. Off of this, and maybe there's a world where we reincarnate, if it's like Thunder Horse.
It's tempting, but uh, probably not necessary. Let's just equip the weapon. Hysteria, mass hysteria? Oh, wait, you're dead? Right, that wasn't. What if we very skillfully hit Nepshalon again here? The one time I didn't want to hit the Yashira. <laughs> Now there's a world where maybe we just reincarnate the Nepshalon, but I feel like that might be an overcommitment here. So let's do this. Cross Nova again. Death is not my concern. They hit there. Okay. This is seven times three, twenty-one. Dunk. Dunk. Right, get in there, little buddy. All right. Well, it took uh, fifty minutes, but we hit Yashira a singular time. <laughs> Congratulations! I've done it. <laughs>